But a community that loves the truth will also have to fight human tendencies towards self-deception. People who want to be good, but also want to do what they want to do, <laughs> are ready targets for self-deception. So you want to be good, you also want to do what you want to do. Um, Stan Hauerwas, um, who has written really well on this, notes that we choose to stay ignorant of certain things we're doing and deliberately allow certain engagements and activities to go unexamined, quite aware that areas left unaccountable tend to cater to self-interest. Mm. And as a result, the condition of self-deception becomes the rule rather than the exception in our lives, and often in the measure that we're trying to be honest and sincere. And again, I think people who want to be good are the people most vulnerable to self-deception. Um, think about church leaders who engage in infidelity. I often wonder, what were they thinking? Right? Isn't that what you say to yourself? What were they thinking? Um, how did they talk to themselves about what they were doing? Right? At least that's what I say. At least I have in the past. I'm beginning to think I know the answer. But um, how are they talking to themselves about what they were doing? What's the answer there? What were they thinking? What's the answer? They weren't. They weren't thinking. I think that's the main thing. They weren't thinking. They were not reflecting. They were doing that on purpose, right? They, they, um, they didn't think. They just compartmentalized the activity, oftentimes gave it a different name or kind of a different category. Um, they didn't look at it. And certainly they didn't try to integrate whatever that activity was into the rest of their lives. They deliberately leave it kind of outside of the arenas. And that's how you can, you can have somebody who's performing in the other areas and still doing this um, um, serious misconduct. I, I think a truthful community will talk about and reflect on what it's doing. As a community, it will encourage people to reflect together. It will help its members and leaders to do the same. I think, again, the danger here is that the more we want to be good, the more vulnerable we are to self-deception. If we don't care about integrity, then we're not likely to feel the need to deceive ourselves or hide something from ourselves or others by compartmentalizing uh, certain aspects of our lives.